Hey, what's up guys? This is Andrew Smirsek with Combat Training, and I am here again with Evan of Radio Made Easy. I'm trying to show the thing in the back right there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a whiteboard kind of describing um, how the radios work within different ranges, stuff like that. Try to make it uh, a more visual thing for you uh, to better understand how to use your radios. So I'll let Evan take it away. I'm just gonna hover. Yeah, so let's talk about kind of what each type of radio can do. So uh, one category, we'll break this into categories. We kind of have three three categories in my mind. Uh, the first one we'll call is HTs. So this is handy talky is what that stands for. So what that really is is one of these guys, right? It's a handheld radio of some kind. Um, that's going to give you anywhere from uh, we'll say we'll say less than one mile with um, with the range from radio to radio with your antenna on it on your body um, not not that not that much additional work or effort if you're willing to add like a roll-up J pole antenna and or use an elevated antenna of some kind you could get a very long way on these radios up to even 20 plus miles um, with that especially if the terrain is in your favor right if you're on a mountaintop and your buddy's on a mountaintop you can cover some good distance um, one caveat with these is you have repeaters that can easily extend your range with a regular antenna um, at, I would say uh, 15 up to 50 miles so this is with a repeater. So this is a radio only. This would be called, a, we'll call it R to R. This is repeater. So those, those are gonna be kind of your ranges. So this is a tough pill to swallow, right? You might only get a mile of range out of this radio. So think about the use case for this radio. What you're going to be using it for is small unit communications, right? Maybe maybe it's not tactical. Maybe you're you're running a marathon and you have people set up every 500 yards with these radios to mm -hmm. maintain communication. Maybe you're on a church security team. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are a mall cop. You know, mm -hmm. that's the kind of radio you're going to use. Small local communications. Yep. Camping, hiking, searching for someone in the woods. Right. Stuff like that. So you're within a team, that's kind of your, your use case. If you step up to something, this is called a mobile radio, right? So let me, let me make a note here that this is about five watts of power. That's what you're working with with an HT. If you go to mobile, this one is 50 watts. So 10 times the power. That doesn't mean 10 times the range, but it is 10 times the power. Um, what mobile means is it's designed to run off 12 volt power, which 12 volt DC is what your alternator in a vehicle produces. Um, you can also run those off of batteries. Check out the other video for all that jazz. Um, but this radio, um, you're going to get more like this 20, I would say probably more like 5 to 20 miles radio to radio because of the power and because of the type of antenna you're going to be using and you're gonna get identical repeater performance, right? The, it, it is able to do the same things on repeaters that these can do, right? So, mm -hmm. um, again, 15 to 50 miles on repeaters. So if you're within 50 miles, what you're seeing here is you can generally use these kind of radios. Um, what these, what your options are for that are going to be a couple of different things. You got GMRS. This is my recommendation that all people get GMRS licenses. They're thirty-five dollars. There's no test. <laughs> That's and, important. Um, you just go to the FCC website. We have um, a guide on our website of how to get there, and you get twenty-two frequencies that you can use uh, with that license that covers your whole family. So um, that you can legally use that all day long on both of these types of setups. And 
your home free. So you know? does that does that mean my my wife and my kids can use it? Yes. And my mom can use it, but yep. my my neighbor cannot. Right. I think it's typically considered your household. Okay. Right? It's cheap enough you could get one for everybody, but that's kind of how it goes. There are GMRS repeaters. There's nowhere near as many as there are for this other area that I'm about to talk about. But you, like in this case, we have two here locally that I can use, so um, it's a good option. Um, if you are into this stuff and you want to go further, there is UHF and VHF. These are um, kind of like the 144 megahertz and the 440 megahertz. These are, um, or you might hear these also called the 2 meter band and the 70 centimeter band. GMRS and UHF are kind of in the same part of the band. These require a license. So um, this is a big gray area, right? Do you? you are able to use this but you may not be allowed to use this without a license mm -hmm. all the radios we're talking about can potentially do both of these so it's important to be familiar with them um, but i think you should depend heavily on gmrs because it is both legal and functional and these are for repeaters correct um actually it, it's for everything we're talking about so radio to radio and repeaters will operate in a certain frequency range so you can think of these as like this is the lane i'm allowed to drive in if i have a certain type of license i can drive in the hov lane mm -hmm. um, but this is kind of like the regular use lane um, okay so keep in mind that's kind of how that works now moving up away from this kind of area of radio let's say 50 miles is not enough this is you need to talk to somebody in the next state or maybe several states over mm -hmm. what are your options um, there is a way to do that with these radios but what it would require are multiple repeaters every 30 to 50 miles that are all linked together so if you have a lot of money like a couple hundred thousand dollars you know you could create a daisy chain of those and it would functionally work but we all know that's not happening, right? So what's your option? Well, um, HF radio is uh, the way to solve this problem. So this, this radio here, the Cesu FT891, it's 100 watts of power, and it operates in a different part of the radio spectrum from these. So HF stands for high frequency, but that's actually a lower frequency than UHF and VHF. So um, this goes from the 10 meter band all the way up to 100, um, 160 meter band. So these guys are um, very useful for a different reason. And let me explain that. So with, with these types of frequencies, the way they work are, uh, let's say this is you and this is your friend you're talking to. Um, if you're both on the same playing field, um, you can get to each other, right? These operate on the line of sight. If there's an obstacle between you, a mountain, you can put a little repeater up here and you can talk to the repeater and he can talk to the repeater. So that's how you're able to overcome an obstacle is with a repeater. But at the end of the day, it depends completely on line of sight, right? So if you don't have this repeater, you're not making it through the mountain. Very, mm. very limited. HF works a completely different way. If I'm here, and Andrew's here, I'm in North Carolina, and you're in Florida, um, there's lots of crap between us, right? Like, who knows? Or you may be way lower and I may be way higher. There might be a repeater here, but unless there's a whole string of repeaters, um, I can only get to this and I can't get to you still, right? There's no, there's no way to get to you. Mm -hmm. And I only have 50 miles of range, which you know, you're 400 miles. So how are we going to solve that problem? Well, um, HF radio works on a different type of transmission pattern. So if I'm here and you're here, and let's, let's just call it 300 miles, my radio actually is going to transmit up to the ionosphere. So this is a layer of the atmosphere of the Earth. And my radio actually bounces that 
up and down off the ionosphere to get to its destination. Now the pattern of this radiation is different depending on your antenna, but a certain deployment that I like to use is called Invis. And we're not gonna go over what that means because it's it makes no sense, but essentially it's gonna act as a big spotlight. So instead of this long distance pattern, what it kind of looks like is I'm transmitting up and it's beaming this massive spotlight above me right and this typically is going to have an area of three to four hundred miles so just call it 400 here so you got your your little radio is now almost becoming a broadcast station um, on that frequency so anybody along this um, 400 mile radius is able to hear so this is more you could call this local you can call this uh, teams and this actually is more like regional and even uh, even international to some extent so so we're talking about this one right here now. right so okay, you what's kinda, that one called again this is an HF radio and um, this is a, a it's a mobile HF radio this is a mobile um, UHF VHF GMRS radio and this is a handy talkie. Okay. So, what, so, um, so HF high frequency, UHF ultra high frequency. These are ultra high frequency and GMRS. Right, which and, is a part of UHF. What does GMRS stand for? General Mobile Radio Service. Okay. Um, yeah. So, really, all to think about is you got three categories. If you if you boil it down. Um, Boiling it down, you need to think about what's what's my problem to solve, right? Am I in a small group of people dispersed, you know, within one to let's call it 50 miles that might be pushing it? Then UHF, GMRS, VHF is a part of that as well that's a good option for you. If you're doing that, you've got HTs and you've got mobiles. So handy uh, talkies. You got and your five watt and you got your 50 watt. Okay, handy talkies and mobile radios. All right, so if that's your problem, you're close together, that's gonna work for that. If you're a little further apart, you know, a little bit more distance, um, the mobile version of that will, will be helpful, right? So. You still got your mobile for VHF, UHF, and GMRS. Still useful. But if you're really far apart, if you're getting past 50 miles, we'll call this uh, under 50, and then we'll call this over 50. Um, here you're really going to depend on HF. So there are base stations, but you, you basically have base that's not intended to be moved. It's meant to sit on a desk or mobiles, which is what I have here is a mobile. Um, and those are 50 watts and uh, 50 watts to 50 watts and up. And this one's 100. So HF is going to give you um, that increased range of over 50 miles really you could go thousands of miles. You could talk to the all the way to the west coast or all the way to other countries. So you kind of have, um, this is immediate. This is local. And this is regional and beyond. Very cool. All right, anything else you want to add to that? Now, if you any of these kind of meet your needs, if you got a specific problem you're trying to solve, if this is too much information, totally cool. Um, we're here to simplify it. You don't need to learn all this. Um, send us an email, book a consultation. We'll sit down, map out where you're trying to talk between and recommend a solution. And we can even come teach you how to use it. So you're not on your own. Uh, we want to make you able to use radios effectively. 
Um, so just reach out, let us know what you need. Very awesome. And we we're trying to get Evan down to Florida to teach uh, a radio class. So if you are interested, I need you to be commenting that down below. Comment any questions you have, uh, even if it's for Evan, because uh, hopefully, you know, if he has time, he'll go through, read those comments, and answer what he can. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much, Evan, again. Yeah. Keep fighting communism. And remember, that train saves lives.